Hi, my name is Mr. Grubbs. I'm the principal here at Tempestine High School. Um, what a great opportunity for our students. We are an urban high school um, in downtown Canton, and our students really related to the message that was presented today. It is amazing how many students are staying behind to talk about the message they heard. I talked to kids on their way out. They were excited. They want to hear Break the Great again. So it was a great message about self-esteem, about respect, about bullying, about suicide. He touched on so many topics that really played a huge role in our students. You know, you want something that's going to touch the kids, that's going to engage the kids, that the kids are going to enjoy, they're going to laugh, they're going to have a good time, and it was a fabulous um, presentation. We definitely want them back. You guys are awesome. All right. In the house today is the lead singer of the band Ballinger and the president of Break the Grace. So give it up for him one time. All right, you may be seated. Thank you. I'm just kidding, man. How are you guys doing this morning? My name is Bill Ballinger. Let me hear you say hi, Billy. School is different for me because, man, I just love people because I've been through some hell in my life and I just want to help that one student who may be getting ready to lose their breath or heart. Please remain standing out of respect for the person that you lost because some of you are standing for Michael, Nick, Tristan, Lisa, Talisa, Trisha, Zach, Jared. I said that one time in a crowd in Delton, Michigan, and all of a sudden out of the crowd they started yelling out names. Somebody said, Tammy, Nick, David, Zach. And all of a sudden, who? Tejon. She's named, she's naming all several names. Here's the thing, it's because all listen, listen, listen. Yeah, yeah. Real people. See, that's a lie there. Because you know why? Because since we've been talking, since I've been holding a microphone, since we've been talking this morning, watch this. Out of the 48 million students enrolled in public schools, since I've been on this stage, we've lost another young person under the age of 20 that used to have that heart beating, man, that used to be breathing. What do we got to do to change it? What are you going to do in this school to change it?